Welcome to Our Being and Seeing with Joanne and Phil. Join us as we explore Tobermory and Flowerpot Island. Tobermory is most famous for the Chichiman Ferry, which transports 140 vehicles and passengers across Lake Huron to Manitoulin Island and back. With up to a four hour wait for the next ferry, there are lots of trendy shops and restaurants to help pass the time. It's also a good time to restock your RV at the grocery store. A short walk from the main street brings us to this waterfront boardwalk with lots of private and tour boats. We chose Blue Heron Cruises because they had the most options for types of boats as well as depart times. We bought our tickets as we entered town at their parking lot, but you can also buy them here. Fresh beaver tail pastries made to order might be a good last minute snack while you wait for your boat. And here's ours now. Before leaving for Flowerpot Island, we're taking a short detour to Big Tub Harbor to view the cottages and many shipwrecks. Lake Huron can get very rough and the rocky shoreline has sunk many boats in the area. Fathom 5 National Marine Park preserves these shipwrecks which are very popular with scuba divers. The cold clear water makes viewing them from above possible as well. The two shipwrecks at the end of Big Tub Harbor. The sweepstakes, which hit a rock and sank in shallow water close to the lighthouse in 1885. This is one of the best preserved 19th century Great Lakes schooners to be found. And the Grand Rapids, a double-decked steamer which sank in 1907 because of a fire. The boat ride to Flowerpot Island takes about 50 minutes, which includes the stop to see the shipwrecks. The return trip is around 25 minutes. Here's the old lightkeeper's dwellings which are maintained for their historical value. The original lighthouse was erected in 1897. It was replaced in 1969 by the one you are seeing now. It's staffed by volunteers who maintain the lights and act as sources of information about its history. Now the flower pots come into view. Flower pots are vertical columns of rock formed over thousands of years from continued exposure to wind, rain, and waves. The softer rock at the base erodes quickly, leaving the harder rock on the top in the shape of flower pots. Make sure you wear appropriate footwear to view the caves, especially if you plan to do the 45 minute walk to the lighthouse. Also bring water and snacks, because there's nothing on the island except for outhouses. We highly recommend that you plan your visit early in the day, as it tends to become quite crowded later on, which takes a lot of enjoyment out of the experience. Ah, a moment of solitude. The trail is narrow and hilly and not suitable for strollers. Swimming is very popular here, but be advised that the water is very cold 
with deep drop-offs. There's no sandy beach here. We hope you've enjoyed our trip to Tobermory and Flower Pot Island. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see future videos. Thanks for watching.